Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a pack with me for vacation. I'm leaving for Destin actually tonight around like 3 in the morning. That's the way my dad travels. Don't even ask. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm packing and what I'm bringing with me. All that fun stuff. I'm going to be vlogging while we are down there a couple days, not every day that I'm down there, but I'm going to try to get some good footage for you guys. And my previous video was a prep for vacation with me. So if you guys want to check that out. So I'm packing in like a small suitcase. This is just the suitcase I'm using. It's just a small little suitcase. I believe we got this at TJ Maxx, I want to say. And then my purse, some stuff is going to go in my purse. But we are gonna go ahead and jump on into it and show you guys what I'm packing. So first, I am obviously packing um, like bras and underwear and stuff, but I'm not gonna show that because that's just weird. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys are the swimsuits that I'm bringing. Straps are fixed, so they'll quit falling. My swimsuits are all from Shein. So I have two that I have from last summer that are not new, but. They're some of my favorites, so I'm going to bring them. The first one is this white one. This is the top. It has kind of like a ribbed material, like that. Super nice, not see-through at all, which is very important when you're at the beach. <laughs> and then these are the bottoms, just white, high-waisted, super, super flattering. Again, love this material. Next one is this purple and white polka dot. I need to retie the bow on this side, but pink and white polka dots or i've been saying pink purple and white pink purple with white polka dots there we go it's just like this has bows up top and then these bottoms are super super flattering very high-waisted again the purple with white polka dots this is such an adorable swimsuit it's so girly and cutesy and i just love it the rest of these are all ones that I got this year for this summer. Um, they might still be on the website if I can find them. I'll link them for you guys. This first one is this hot pink bandeau. And then it just has some plain hot pink bottoms. These ones are not high-waisted. I don't know. I have one pair of high-waisted bottoms for my new ones. And next one is super basic but very cute. It's this black and white Dalmatian one that like everyone has. It has the cute little those up top and some ruffles down below and then these bottoms these are a little bit tiny but I don't know you guys these are a little but super super cute this one is one of my favorites I need to retie the bow on this one as well but it's like a tan and black Dalmatian print with little bows has a little knot in the middle and then I love the color of these bottoms it is this like burnt red i don't really know but super cute this next swimsuit is adorable just this pink and white stripes very very light pink if it'll focus on it there we go super cute has the bows up top like the other ones and then these bottoms are high-waisted they're super cute this is a very flattering swimsuit this has the same pink and white stripes super cute a lot of my swimsuits are like kind of the same but different like they're all very similar this one is so cute i had my eyes on this one for a while before i got it but it is this leopard print tri-colored little triangle top type swimsuit and then these bottoms are super cute this is the front and this is the back again these are all from Shein and I will find the ones I can and link them down below if you guys regularly shop on there you know clothes go fast so might not be able to find them but I will try to for you guys next we are going to do my clothes I guess this kind of goes with swimsuits I'm packing a swimsuit cover up I don't normally wear these but I just have like this tie-dye dress one I don't know I don't usually wear swimsuit cover-ups but I figured it would be easier just to pack that instead of like shirts and shorts and stuff my first outfit is this black tank top. This is from Peach Pistol Boutique. I'll link this down below. I also have a code with them I'll share with you guys. But these straps are just so cute. It's just a plain black crop top. I'm packing this for like just if we go out and do anything 
fun. And then these white shorts, these are from TJ Maxx. They have like five buttons up, but I didn't button them. They're the brand Indigo Rain. These were $13 at TJ Maxx. Literally still have the tags on them, but these are so cute and so flattering. I did try them on. They're super cute. So that's going to go with the black top. Next, I have this dress from Target. This is from Wild Fable. It's this peach sundress. I packed this for us to do family pictures in. We're kind of doing like different pastel colors, kind of. I don't know. We're trying not to do like the basic white and khaki beach pictures. We're trying to be a little bit different. So I got this dress from that. This was 25 bucks at Target. And it's super cute. This next outfit is an extra outfit. This is one of my just in case outfits. And it is this plain gray crop top. It just has like the racer back. I got this at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure how much it was. And then these are just American Eagle shorts. They're pretty basic. Ripped up American Eagle shorts. Looks like all their other shorts. This outfit is one of my favorites. This is the same top from Peach Pistol, but in like an off-white creamy color super cute i got this skirt on amazon it is linked on my store in front which i will link down below for you guys but it's like a brown and white dalmatian print it's really really cute you do have to wear it pretty high up for it to be like not super long but it is so stinking cute and then i have this dress for when we go out to eat i got this at tj maxx for like 12.99 it's a brand Pink Rose, which is one of my favorite TJ Maxx brands. It's just like a pink and white tie-dye dress. I thought this was just super cute and simple, casual. I don't have to look super fancy to wear this dress. Also has like a super cool like breathable fabric so I don't get too hot in that either. And my last outfit is this top from American Eagle. And it's just a bunch of tie-dye pastels. I just realized I brought a lot of tie-dye things here, but whatever. This is one of my outfits. Most days we're just going to go to the beach and stuff, so I didn't bring a whole lot of clothes because I'm really bad about that. The last pair of shorts are just from Hollister. I got these at like TJ Maxx, like $10 or something. I don't really know. All these outfits are on one half of my suitcase, so I'm going to go ahead and put all this back. So I have a ton of stuff on this other side and some of it's probably going to end up going in my purse, which is fine. Okay, I do have more clothes over here. So I packed a couple workout outfits. I'm not going to be like going to the gym or anything, but we're going to go on walks and stuff and the house we rented down there comes with bikes, so we're going to bike. And so my first outfit is just this black Lululemon tank top. This is the cool racerback tank, I believe. I have a couple of these and I just really love these a lot. Packing these UCA College Nationals shorts that I got from when I cheered. This next one is a top from TJ Maxx. It's like a tan leopard print. These are just like some burnt red shorts. The last top is the same brand as the other cheetah top. This is just a different, different print. And then these are just plain black Adidas shorts that I have. Those are my three workout outfits just in case we want to bike or go on a walk or anything. And then for sports bras, I just packed a plain black one, black and white stripes, and then a gray and white tie-dye. Y'all are probably going to think I'm gross, but I packed two pajamas. For starters, we have a washer, so if they do stink, I can wash them, but two, I'm only wearing them to bed. Like, I don't need to pack a different pair of pajamas for every day. This is just a surf style t-shirt that... My mom got when she went to Clearwater. These are just like light gray Sophie shorts. They're really nothing special. I love to sleep in these. My next pair is this really cute set from Target. It's like silk pink pajamas. They are the brand Stars Above. These are seriously so, so comfy. I love these pajamas. And then they just come with little shorts. And then I'm packing two hats to wear on the beach just because I don't want to burn my face or my scalp super bad so we're gonna wear some hats this first one is a leopard print cc hat which is the brand that makes all those beanies they make like these kind of hats too which i thought was cool so i just have this cheetah print one and it's one of the ones you can wear a ponytail through so i'll probably pull my hair up and just stick it through this and then i also have 
a turquoise one with my initials on it. It matches my nails perfectly, actually. That's really funny. But um, it's the same ponytail through it. I don't think this... Oh, this is also CC. I did not realize that. I can link these down below. We got them on Amazon and then just had someone put the initials on this one. And then this one is just plain leopard print. But I'm going to be bringing both of these with me. Next, this is kind of random, but I'm going to bring my Lululemon fanny pack just in case I don't want to bring my purse with me somewhere and I just want to wear it. The next thing I am bringing is my brewmates. I have this one. I think this is the shade Peony or something like that. I don't know. I will link these down below for you guys. This one was on sale. can't remember how much it was. And then this is Onyx Leopard, I believe is how you say it. But it's just a black leopard print that doesn't want to focus. There we go. So, so cute. Bringing both of these with me. And then I have all of my camera stuff, which I just have the battery charger, my adapter, my tripod, and then my camera are going to go in this and then go in my purse. I'm not going to show everything that's in my purse just because I have a what's in my purse video and um, that really has nothing to do with this video, but I will show you guys um, the stuff I pack in my purse that has to do with vacation, if that makes sense. So my camera stuff will be going in there. And then I'm also going to be bringing my Beats so I can edit in the car. I just have the rose gold Beats headphones. And then I'm also going to be bringing my Beats pill. I just have the white one. Nothing too special so we can um, listen to music when we're at the pool or the beach or whatever. And then also in my purse, my sunglasses. These are just from Diff Eyewear. These are the black Tahoes. I've talked about these in the past couple of videos, but... These are super cute. I can link them down below for you guys. They are buy one, get one free. So you can buy a pair and get a second pair for free. And then all my chargers and stuff are gonna be going in my purse as well. And so is my laptop, which is charging right now. I just have the gold MacBook Air, I think is what this is. But yeah, that's gonna be coming so I can edit and stuff. And I also am in a summer class right now. So I have to work on school work while I'm there, which sucks. For shoes, I'm gonna be practicing packing my Brooks for when we bike and go on walks and stuff. And then I'm going to wear my Birkenstocks in the car, but I just thought I would show you guys because I am bringing them. And then for when we go out to eat and stuff, I just have these tan um, shoes from Walmart. They're the brand Time and True. I can't find these anymore, but you might be able to find them in store. Maybe I cannot find them online though. I'm bringing my Hydro Flask, obviously, because you got to stay hydrated while you're down there. And the rest is just toiletries and makeup, so I'm just going to go through that real quick have my black wet brush have a tan claw clip a scrunchie ponytails and then this is a lululemon headband right here and then this looks really weird it has conditioner and it. it has moroccan oil hydration conditioner i want to say shampoo i'm just using this coconut milk shampoo just a random travel one that we had my mercy handy deodorant olaplex number seven the best it naturals 12 in one leave-in Conditioner, I have Into the Night Body Wash, Coconut Cream Pie Body Lotion, 24 Karat Coconut Mist from Victoria's Secret, Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel for washing my face with. These are the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Wipes. My, um, what brand is this? Billy Razor, the razor subscription, if you guys have ever heard of that. I just have my toothbrush, I don't even know what this is, and then Press 3D white toothpaste. This toiletries bag is just from Vera Bradley. I don't even know. I don't even know if they make it anymore. Honestly, guys, we've had this bag forever. It's my go-to toiletry bag. But last but not least, I'm gonna show my makeup. First is just the e.l.f. setting spray. I have all my brushes, I believe are, okay, all but two, three. All but three are the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes, and then I have my uh, Fair Contour Brush or Bronzer, Elf Spoolie Brush, and then this is just a regular Morphe eyebrow brush, but those are all the brushes that I'm bringing. I'm not even going to be doing my makeup that much down there, so I'm not packing a whole lot. I have my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Bombshell. I talked about this in my most recent favorites video. Um, Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner, and then a travel size Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. Absolutely love it. I talked about this before, but I'm packing my Billion Dollar Beauty little customizable box because it has 
eyeshadows, all my brow products, blush, and highlighter in here, and it's just so convenient. So I am packing that. This saves a whole lot of space. A Real Technique sponge, hair spun powder, Hula Benefit bronzer, Fenty matte foundation, and then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow primer. It's just the travel size. Um, it's the only travel size primer I had, so that was what I was packing. That is all the makeup that I'm bringing. I'm only really doing my makeup for when we do family pictures and then when we go out to dinner and stuff. I think that is everything that I'm packing. I think if I miss anything, it wasn't anything exciting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my beach vlog, which will be my next video.